Hi guys, and Donna here with another vlog. I haven't vlogged in a few weeks and I have started doing diamond art again. I am currently doing a diamond art on The Little Mermaid. You can see it at that distance, it looks really, really cool, but obviously when you're close up working on it, it all looks weird and pixelated. But it's coming along nicely. I have done all this section here and I'm up to about here, so I'm getting close to halfway. That one I did a year ago or so, Carl bought it me as something to do when he was away on tramping jobs. So I did that one and I cut out the edges and then framed it. So that's the end result of that one, which is really, really nice. Carl and I went away for the weekend and he bought me a lovely Pandora chain with a turtle on it in pink which was really really pretty so I wear that a lot of the time now instead of my ring but my ring is still very much a part of me but this is really really special because of the 11 years that we've been together I'm hoping to have a relatively productive day today because like usually when I'm off work and the weather's been crap I find it hard to entertain myself so all I've done is spent time cleaning and smashing through this diamond art it was clear skies and beautiful and sunny this morning and now as you can see it's gone really really horrible the weather it's gone grey and cloudy like rubbish so I actually think it's gonna rain soon. So I've got to do stuff today and quite frankly with you, I can't be bothered. The plantar fasciitis I had suffered back in 2017, it has made a reappearance in my left foot last night, which was quite uncomfortable uh, when I walk. Today it's settled, I did put some Voltarol on it last night, hoping that'll help. I have had this before and it is a very uncomfortable experience, so let me know in the comments if you've also suffered with it as well. So Carl bought me this recently off the TikTok shop and he said it would be better to use than having a lamp on it night the only reason i have a lamp on at night is just basically to let people who may be skulking around in the night that the house is occupied i do have outdoor cameras that monitor stuff all through the night as well battery powered and very very good when we go on holiday especially the cruises because even when we have an internet package on the cruise ship we could be out in the middle of the ocean yet i can still see inside or outside the house can't wait to give this hair done today and it's feeling a lot more refreshed i absolutely love it when it's had a fresh color and after having a chat with my hairdresser she's going to try and find a enhancing color to see if we can go brighter than this now this is already quite bright especially when the sun catches it but we're gonna go and try and go brighter i have also now finished my diamond painting it is all done i am really happy about how it turned out so now i need to cut off the edges and then i need to get a frame and put it up on the wall i've now begun on another one which i want to do for my niece so the whole process starts again i will get it framed and it'll get wrapped up for her for a christmas present because i am wrapping christmas presents throughout the year it's crazy but it makes more sense to do because then you're spreading stuff out and i kept wrapping paper out of the attic so that i can wrap them as i go now i bought these off the off amazon these are a little bit longer in the end because you always get this default one which is just one end and it can take so long to do so this one will actually speed up the process when you have vast areas of the same color and you can just bob 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 them all the way down today i started it by having a lay-in and as you can tell i am struggling to talk and that's not because uh there's a problem that my face is numb. I've just been to the dentist for the fillings that I needed and all here is completely gone to sleep and part of my tongue has as well. So it sounds like I've got a lisp but I actually haven't. <laughs>
I actually sound bloody ridiculous because I can't tell if I have got a lisp or something. I don't know. It's so weird. I've actually come to see my granddad now because obviously he lives in the same town my dentist is located. So I thought because he's home, I'll pop in and say hi. But I can feel myself biting my tongue and I'm worried that it'll be really sore when the feeling comes back. And it's only a couple of hours, so I can't eat for a couple of hours now. I wish I had breakfast. It is actually very, very annoying, but there's not really a lot I can do about that. I'm home sweet home now and I still have some numbness in my face there. I keep accidentally biting my cheek, which is bad because I have a habit of biting my cheeks when I'm nervous and stuff inside my mouth. So I have to be really careful. Um, it is very strange still how I can't feel much, so I can't eat anything yet. And I'm worried that if I have something to drink, it'll just dribble all down my face. So my baby girl and I are just chilling. I mean, she looks like she wants to escape because that's just Oreo. She's always finding ways to escape. Does not like to be held on for too long, do you mean? What's he gonna What's outside? Look at the tail. Look at the tail. I am really looking forward to this weekend because it is the first weekend of the season for Blackpool Pleasure Beach and I can't wait because I love going to the Pleasure Beach and I am very eager to see if my favourite roller coaster is open on opening day. But I'm also hoping that my good friend Jamie's gonna be there as well because we haven't actually seen him since before the last season closed. I'm really looking forward to that and I can't wait. I'm keeping my fingers crossed he's gonna be there. I do need to ask him. Good morning all. Our day is starting with the sun coming up and looking beautiful today. Today is the first day of the new season at the Pleasure Beach. We are just getting ourselves weighed this morning and then we are heading up along to Blackpool and we are going to meet up with some friends and have a really good day there. Today is also Mabel's 15th birthday and she would not have a clue that it is a birthday today. She's not bothered, she's a cat but she is another year older and still thriving. She is such a good girl. What's that beans? What? We are back at the Pleasure Beach and I'm really, really happy. My favourite place, although like half the rides are closed today, especially my favourite ride, it is closed, but they are running it. Now we're gonna go meet up with Jamie and he's queuing for Icon, which is open, thank goodness. And the rain has stopped a little bit. and wet and I can't see me and Carl being here much longer. Half of the rides are closed uh, and all the other rides that are open have immense queues because of the other rides being closed. But considering it's an opening day, it's rubbish. Like there's barely anyone here. You know, it's, it's not great at all for a new season. So we just had some lunch in the pub because the rain just won't stop coming and we spotted that they had the chimneys lit up on fire. So we are now sat in front of the chimney and enjoying the heat.
Good morning everyone, it is a beautiful day today. I actually can't believe that the sun is out and it has stayed out, it hasn't gone cloudy like it did yesterday and started raining and we are debating whether or not we go back to the pleasure beach. We don't know, we kind of stuck on that one about what to do because uh, we don't want to be disappointed that loads of rides are closed again but we do have friends that are there again today giving it another try and there's 20% off a pizza kitchen because the weather was crap yesterday. outside the Pleasure Beach while Carl's been on the hunt for a space to park because everybody wants to park right outside the Pleasure Beach which means that you can't get in anywhere for ages so I have a feeling he's gone all the way down the road now to park and he's gonna have to walk up here and I'm hoping that's the case because I'm still stood here and I haven't got my bag with me or anything is still in the car we did finally come to the Pleasure Beach. The sun is shining. It's still chilly, but you know what? We're sat in a window with the sun shining. It's amazing. And we're gonna eat a rotisserie chicken with chips and gravy. And we're doing a couple more rides before Jamie has to shoot off. We've just got home from the Pleasure Beach and I find out that we are in for a red alert for the Aurora coming over tonight so I am going to be staying up late for that and I'm looking forward to seeing if I can spot it and get a picture of it in the sky tonight and when we was at the pleasure beach i noticed that they were doing some sort of new season discount for their mr funshine throws they were like 25 quid down to a tenner so i uh i got one so it's there my throw and i'm not sharing it mm -mm, not sharing and yesterday carl got the icon one which was actually reduced in price as well it wasn't a tenner but it was down in price, so he got that one yesterday. And that one's mine. <laughs> I love him. I actually do have a Mr. Funshine cushion as well. So should we get a sofa bed for the front or the back bedroom? Uh, those will be the decorative features of the bed. Because that's what I plan on doing. <laughs> So now I am winding down for the night and this is the end of my vlog. If you've enjoyed it, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button, tap on the bell and I'll see you guys again real soon.